Hey guys, Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I'll be covering natokinase and the side effects that you can potentially see from it. So let's hop right into it. Um, first of all, you're probably familiar, but the Japanese historically have eaten natto, which is a fermented soybean. And natokinase is the enzyme that's contained in that. And so it'll be used and supplemented for different reasons. One of those is heart health and, and clean up the arteries, stuff like that. So it's a very popular supplement. I don't want to get into the soy part of it. I'm not a huge soy fan. However, uh, I just kind of want to focus on the supplement part of it. And generally speaking, natokinase is very safe. Um, the one thing we know is that we've seen studies and people supplementing with fairly high amounts. Now, it's important to remember natokinase will come in either a milligram strength or an FU strength, which is fibrinolytic unit. Fibrinolytic is a type of measurement as it's breaking up clots. So that's what fibrinolytic means. But so they've taken 2000 FUs per day in people for up to three years, very safe. They've done higher amounts of 7,000 FUs a day for six months. Again, overall found to be generally very safe. However, there are case reports of some serious interactions, and that's what I want to talk about, or serious side effects. Number one being hemorrhaging or uh, bleeding issues. What you want to keep in mind, a um, couple of case studies I'll talk about. So, First of all, if you if you have any sort of bleeding disorder that you're taking a blood thinner with, whether it's aspirin, warfarin, Eliquis, any of those sorts of things, you want to be very careful. There was a 52-year-old female. She was taking an 8,000 FU strength natokinase product. She was doing that daily, and on day seven, um, she started having hemorrhaging, bleeding, um, and she was on aspirin at that time. She ended up being okay, however very serious reaction, something you want to know of. Another one was a 92-year-old female. She was not on any other blood thinners, and she actually developed an internal hemorrhage. She ended up passing away. So again, is this common? It's not common at all. However, it's something that I think it's important for you and your doctor to discuss. So if you're, gonna, if you're thinking about going on nanokinase, talk to your doctor. Talk to your pharmacist, make sure everything is good in that regard. The other thing that we have seen happen, and this can happen, I got a question the other day, you know, what drugs, what supplements can cause rashes? They all can. You can be allergic to literally anything. However, if you've had problems tolerating soy in the past, uh, or if you've gotten rashes from that, it's highly likely that the same thing will happen with natokinase. So just keep that in mind anaphylactic reactions, which is uh, throat swelling up, difficulty breathing have happened. Again, not common, just something for you to be aware of. Let me know in the comments uh, if you've taken natokinase, did you experience any side effects? Maybe something I missed in the video, let me know. Helpful for me, helpful for anybody that's watching the video to learn from your experience. So um, speaking of helpful guys, I hope this was, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.